We're working on the um, the daisy with the round brush. I'm going to stand up here and I'm going to pull that one in. And see how I'm just putting that in kind of round and just pulling that in. going to do that. I'm going to put the 6 o'clock one in. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to make this one just a little bit shorter than that one. Gives it more natural look. You should and see how all of these are going towards the center. Pull that one in right there. And that one. Now see, I like the look of this better than better than that. But if you have the number 12 and that's all you have, and you don't have the yellow or uh, have the uh, round brush, that's good. You can use either one. But go ahead and get all your daisies in. Just like this. And just keep pulling them in. If they overlap, that's even better. Because that daisies would don't usually grow out there by themselves. So remember the most important thing is remember to get them to come into the center and just touch and pull it in. So you touch, you push down, you pull, and just as you get to that center and you want it to curve a little bit, start standing up and use your thumb and roll it. Practice rolling your brush like this as you paint. That really, really helps. Okay? All right. So let's get these in. Once you get your daisies in, then we'll be ready to um, to work on the butterfly. Okay, still. And they don't always have to be real full daisies. They can be really full or fluffy. You don't always have to do it 12 to 6. It's just as long as everything points towards the center. I know I sound like I'm making a big deal out of it, but but it is because. Um, they won't look they won't be right if you make them smaller. So they can be small, they can be big. So just go ahead and pull those in. And just keep picking up paint. You know, if I want to add a little yellow, I'll add pick up white and I'll go in and I'll just use my point in yellow and I can have see that? A little bit of yellow. That wasn't a very good one there, but let's see. Push and turn right there. Push and turn. Touch and pull down. Okay. Touch and pull down. There we go. Now this next one here at the bottom is going to just start there and come in. But I'm not going to make it very big. It's going to be kind of small. Now it's not very good so I'm going to stand back up and point it in there. Okay, pull that one in, and that one. Okay, if I make these smaller on this side, it looks like they're kind of tucked in. It's not a very big one, so I'm going to leave that one just like that. I've got one more to do right here. Now, I paint for pretty fast because I've done this for a long time. But also, if you have that round brush, you can paint these much faster than you can with that number 12 because the round brush holds a lot more paint. Pick up a little bit of yellow on that one, kind of pull some of that yellow in here. And there we go. Okay, we now have um, all of our daisies put in. Go ahead and rinse that brush out. You don't want to leave your brushes in the water you, because it would, um, the wat water stays in the ferrule and then it also makes the wood handles, um, makes the paint flake off of it. Okay, now that needs to dry before we can put our sec before we can put our centers in, okay? So if you've got the number 12 brush, get that out once that dries. Again, you can dry it with a hair dryer or you can dry it with a, um, or just let it air dry. Okay, I'm going to pick up my yellow again. Just the yellow. And mine's got a little white in it, but that's okay. I don't mind the dirty brush. I'm going to go back in. We're going to put in our yellow centers again. I'm pushing down and I'm pulling in. I'm kind of making it like a little arch. So it's kind of there like that. So it kind of goes around, like when you put it in, 
you hold it right here and you just push down and you kind of make an arch because that's the way the daisies look and we want it yellow on top okay a little bit more this also covers up those little white lines that you put in earlier okay so now we have our yellow centers in okay you should let them dry right now if you have the time um, I'm not I really don't have the time um, right now to let it dry so I'm gonna go ahead and put my centers in anyway I'm using some um, burnt sienna by full cart okay also some uh, floating medium and floating medium is uh, is a paint without the pigment so it's it's very colorless so I'm going to use a little bit of that doesn't take very much okay. now we're ready to use um, our numbers six brush so wet that down Lay it on your paper towel until you see the water drain out of it, the lightness will go away. Okay, I'm going to dip into my clear floating medium. I'm going to touch one corner into the burnt sienna and I'm going to blend it right here. One, two, three. Touch the corner. Not a lot, just a little bit. If you get too much, grab hold of it like this and just pinch that out of there so you just have the corner okay that's one easy way to do it. it's kind of a cheating way but it's it works alright go back blend it again alright and I want it nice and blended I don't want a lot of paint on there so I'm going to go up here we'll do this one first I'm going to stand on the stand up on the chisel lay my brush down and I'm going right along the bottom see that nice little brown line that goes across there let me go maybe I should bring it in so you can see it a little better okay alright let me do that again so you can see it alright back into the floating medium blend blend alright I'm going to do this one standing up on the chisel edge I'm pushing forward and I'm coming right along that edge where I want it and so this gives a lot of dimension it makes your flower look like it's coming forward then when I get ready to do the second one, and it's got yellow on it because I didn't let it dry, but I'm going right back into that place where I blended because I don't want my browns to be really strong. Back on the corner again, stand up, push that around. I probably have enough to do a couple here. No, it's too dry for that. Okay. Well, we're going to try it again. Bring it in around the edge. All right. We're going to pick. I'm going to blending gel a little bit on the corner here we go blend again and a little bit here just make a little smile face on these these make these happy daisies there we go so now we have that and see that one right there was still really wet with yellow so I'm gonna go back in and put that in there again see that okay now this is where the uh, stylus comes in you can use a stylus or if you've got a toothpick or anything that you've got in the house to use it small I'm just going to dip into this I'm using I like to use these low Cornell stylus I think they're nice because they have um, let me go back. they have a nice um, ending that small end and big end so I'm using the small end and I'm just going to go down here and I'm just going to tap in some little dots I'm not sure if you can see those on there or not it's hard to tell when you're videoing but I'm just going to put some little dots in and that also gives it more dimension and has that little daisy leaning okay do all of your daisies don't put a lot in just uh, don't overdo it less is more is what they say with this particular technique see there all right and it's really hard to over just over, don't overdo the dots but you can you can it's really easy to get that lots and lots of dimension here okay so that puts that in all right now we're going to um, stop right here we're going to let that dry for a minute and then we're going to put the butterfly in